What is up, everybody? Um, here to talk John Wick 3 Parabellum. Bah, 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 bah. Man, if you're going to do anything with the franchise, like other people, other directors, other actors, whoever is involved, writers specifically, I guess, they need to take notes on how this is done. Because this is one of those series where it gets better as it progresses. Like John Wick 1 was amazing, did great numbers. 2 was amazing, did even better numbers. 3 still more amazing didn't think it would surpass number two because that's usually not how that goes but it's been getting better and better and better as it goes and it did amazing numbers this first opening weekend so i think it's safe to say john wick is one of those franchises that you just you gotta look forward to if you're not into it you have to look forward to this like this movie was almost perfect like almost a 10 out of 10 like bar none like like I said, if you're going to do it, this is how you do it. It was so chock full of action, drama, suspense. It was so many things that they just, they did right. And I love this movie. This is definitely one of those movies where I would definitely go to pay to see it again. Full price even. That's how good this movie was. All right. So off the rip, we leave, we pick up where John Wick 2 left off. So John Wick is running down the street in the rain with his dog trying to escape because Winston, I think that's his name, Winston, gave him an hour, I believe, an hour to get his stuff together because excommunicado. You know, he kills somebody inside of the hotel and they don't take too kindly of that. That's the one place where you're not supposed to conduct business. And out of sheer anger, rage, and vengeance, he did exactly that. And here he is, a wanted man up for a game for whoever to take down any assassin can take him down with a bounty on his head of 14 million dollars from the start so he's running down the street with his dog he finds himself into the library and uh oh pff, first of all everybody there's so many people who know that he's excommunicado now so now everybody's kind of like just waiting for this hour to be up like your time is almost up, Mr. Wick. <laughs> chop, chop. <laughs> Finds himself in the library and gets confronted by an assassin who is a giant. This guy has to at least be seven foot three. He's huge. He's huge. He's humongous. And uh, he decides to jump the gun and Wick's like, yo, I still got time. He's like, they're not going to know the difference. $14, $14 million is a lot of money, and John was like, Not if you can't spend it. That beatdown was immaculate. He, by, I mean, he got body, but he also still bodied this humongous guy. And in the end of it all, dislocated his jaw and snapped his neck on a book and politely, in John Wick fashion, put that book back in the shelf. That was amazing. Then proceeded to be more on the run because... He had to fight off some uh, some other guys. I don't even know what they were. The Asian, I'm sure. But it was a nice fight for real. It was great. Before I went to go see it, a friend of mine and I were talking about the movie. And uh, she was telling me how her sister went to go take uh, her nieces and nephews to go see it. And when they finally got there, they got carted at the door. And we were like, what? What do you mean you got carted at the door? You can't see it because she's not 21 yet? That's crazy. And then I I kind of saw it, right? And yeah, yeah, I can understand why they carted people out the door and kicked people out for not being of age to see this because that was intense. I mean, literally, it's super intense. Like the first 15 minutes of this movie, you're just sitting there like... Ooh, oh, oh my God. Yo, oh, 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 sh oh, no, nope, nope, dang, oh, oh, why you, why you do him like that? Yeah, kind of like that. Only you're pretty much going to be doing that majority of this movie. Like this is a good two hour and 20 minutes of all of that. It's gonna be a lot. If you're a squeamish person, you better bring a barf bag and thug it out, my nigga, because this movie's amazing. 
he went full Baba Yaga in this movie. He went full boogeyman in this movie. Like, I thought he went boogeyman before. Yo, not like this. And you wouldn't think that he can really outdo himself like that, but he definitely seemed to find a way to outdo himself every time. Like, just the overall smarts, his mind, his brain, how it works, the defensive and offensive capabilities that he's learned and mustered over the course of experience and time, and then putting that together, fighting off all of these people. Like, the fact that there's, like, a squad at least 15 deep going against him, and it's just him by himself, and he manages to murk all of them. It's just not fair. It's, it's not fair. He's, he's OP. I, well, he's not OP, but it's just not fair. He, he get, yo, he's got this reputation for a reason. Surprisingly, this movie took me by surprise. Holly Berry's character loved her. I thought she was going to be one of those characters that are going to be, that's going to be on the run with Mr. Wick the entire movie. And they just going to be thugging it out together as best friends or ex and workers or whatever the freak their relationship was at the time. And then come to find out she was a person who was trained by John essentially for the most part. And it showed, it showed like she was a female mini John in her fight scenes. And I loved it. And on top of that, she had the dog shout out to whoever trained these dogs, man. Like there was a lot of nut biting, but the, the, they, they did amazing, man. Like, far exceeded my expectations. Like, I knew they were going to do some stuff like that, but I just, I didn't think to that degree. And then she wasn't even in the movie the entire time. She just, she had her part in the second half of the film. And then she, she dipped. I was thinking maybe she might come back or something like that. But no, when she dipped, she dipped. And that was it. She had her part, and then she stayed out, stayed up out of there. Like I, I ain't got nothing to do with this. And I, I'm not gonna lie. I, I, I liked it. I liked that they didn't keep her around. Didn't see that coming. I really thought that she was gonna be there the entire time. Who knew? Love Lawrence Fishburne in this movie. I loved him in the second one. I was real interested in his character but it didn't seem like it was going too far in the second one so I wasn't really driven but then you see more of him in this third one and you see that he's a he's an interesting he's an interesting guy man I, I loved his character he was hilarious he was hilarious and he was so serious about his business like I, I just I can't wait to see more of it and then come to find out there's going to be more. It's not over. The way the movie was going, like, I'm like, okay, I've been in this theater for a minute now. And this movie seems like it's kind of coming to a close somehow. But I can't tell because the way they ended it just didn't seem like a way to end a trilogy. And then come to find out, the guy next to me is like, oh, you, oh, you didn't know? Oh, you didn't know? Is They announced a fourth one. There's going to be a fourth movie. What? Son, there's going to be a fourth movie. They're not done with it yet. Oh, and I cannot wait for it. So essentially, that's what, like, if we just understood that, it would have made so much more sense. But my God, the way they do these things is it's freaking incredible. Parabellum means apparently prepare for war. So this is just the prep point of what's really to come. So as bad as it got in this third one, way, way more to come. And I am here for it. So Wick and Ian McShane's character, I, I want to say his name was Winston. I really don't remember right now. But I'm also too lazy to look it up. So they're essentially going to war with the higher ups called the hand or the table. I think it's the table. It's one of these things. It's I'm going to save the table for right now. Yep. So high table. High table is what they're called. So an adjudicator comes in basically bossing everybody around saying like, you know, I'm, untouch I'm untouchable and we need John Wick dead. And I'm going to send out everybody to do it. But at the same time, as much as he's in trouble... You're in trouble, too. So she goes to Lawrence Fishburne. She goes to Winston, who's the head honcho, the manager of the hotel, because 
the manager let it happen in his hotel and the and Lawrence Fishburne's character gave him the gun to do so. So now they're in uh, hot water too and they essentially have to plead fealty, loyalty to these people to, you know, show of good faith, I, I guess. Like, you know, you prove like you're not all bad just like John was because technically as much as he's a fugitive, you're a fugitive too. So, you know. Is that or war, or you're going to be punished appropriately? Lawrence Fishburne got cut up, and Winston just got dropped as manager of the hotel. But Winston was like, nah, we're not doing that. And thus entered more problems, essentially. So, with Winston fighting the adjudicator in the high table, essentially, uh, teaming up with John was the best option, and... They end up fighting a lot of the high tables, other troops, mercenaries, whatever you want to call them. And they're thinking, oh, okay, that ain't going to be that bad. They'll be fine. John can mark that. So John goes in there with the, con the concierge of all people. Who knew we get to see him do some anything like action-based? And it was, it was pretty dope. Get in there and, man... These guys are like head to toe, literally helmet to toe in like body armor. You wouldn't even think it's going to be like as tough as it was, but they were like wearing adamantium or titanium, something, vibranium. They were wearing something. Them bullets was not hitting no matter what happened, no matter what gun they hit them with. And it was crazy. The only way John was able to get through any of that was to like get up close and get them underneath the helmet and get them with that ga 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 ga. Ugh. And then they went back. They went back into the safe hold to get more guns because those regular guns were not going to do it against that body armor. And they got them shotties with the armor-piercing bullets. Ooh! Yo, if you squeamish, uh, pray. Pray before that scene because limbs, body parts, and chunks are flying. Yo! All in all, I think this was a great film. Would I pay to see again? Absolutely. Would I pay to see it at full price even? Absolutely. If I didn't have other movies to see, I would go back and see this again. But I cannot wait for number four. And I can't wait to see the videos on him training on the internet again, like with the guns and stuff like that, like they had done before with the little training field or whatever. I always love seeing those. And then watching him do it, and then watching Holly Berry do it, and then seeing the fruits of their labor in the movie, in any case, John Wick 3 Parabellum, the start of, well, it's not the start, but the continuation of a glorious franchise. Have you seen it? What did you think? Let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell for more things as I update. And if you haven't seen it, go see it because it's a wonderful film. You'll love it if you're into action. And if you haven't seen it and you still want to see it, I would suggest seeing the first and the second one to lead up to the third one. If you, you can still see the third one without seeing the other two and still understand what's going on, but you won't be as emotionally invested and you won't really understand like the reason why he's going so hard and like how much this man has been through just going into the third one. Like you gotta watch the whole thing just to make sure you understand like, man, this guy has really gone through it right now. Like he is really all alone in this right now. It's crazy. And then come to find out that it's only been a few weeks. Oof, my goodness. A few weeks? That's crazy. In any case, uh, comment, like, subscribe. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you guys loved it and enjoyed me talking about it. Spoiler edition. I'm not doing no spoiler free on this one. Sorry, guys. This is just going to be what it is. I'll be here telling it like it is. Plug it to the baby